So we are at Black Creek Lake, LBJ National Grasslands. Once again, doing a short backpacking trip. We're gonna hike through the woods to a different section of the lake that I've that I haven't been on yet, so. Last video was camping in a scorched forest, which was uh, opposite side of the lake. And we went over there by boat. <clears throat> so probably maybe not even a half a mile hike over there. There's a big old wide open area. A little campsite here. Looks like there's multiple trails coming in, but I've never hiked over here before. So I just know there's gotta be a trail over here. Don't know how good the trail is. Okay. So today is April 4th. It's a Wednesday. Okay. So it looks like the trail goes down that way. And we are able to hike to the other side rather quickly. Quicker than I thought. So, right, let's get down this ravine and go on up the other side and take a look around. This trail up over there. It's the plan anyway. Let's see what's around here. Real quick. Another big washout, huh? When it rains. And we'll go over there later and explore. Let's go find a camp. Let's get up this trail. This is pretty steep. Ooh, it's a big step up here. a 28 pound pack on there 
there's a trail there going around. So essentially, anywhere in the LBJ National Grasslands, you can set up a tent and camp. And have a campfire. <clears throat> so, looks like this part of the lake did not get torched by that big fire like the other side did. So, and I think that a, a camper may have started that fire over there probably. On that other side of the lake. Good possibility. This is my first time on this side of the lake. Pretty dense forest. Right. We'll get over here, a lot of spider webs. Saw some deer when I first drove in. I may have got a little bit of them on video. But they decided to take off when I put it in reverse to film them. Like some white tailed deer. So we've been down there a few times in the boat. Over in this little cove. Something just went, jumped in the water over there. Probably a turtle. See the rings there by that log? Probably a sunbathing turtle. So right now, it's only 60 degrees. Not too hot, not too cold. Pretty uh, decent weather right now. Just a slight breeze. But it's supposed to get down to 40 degrees tonight. And then uh, by Friday, up in the 80s, thunderstorms. And then Saturday, when I have a uh, kettle corn event, the high is only supposed to be 55 and cloudy and a slight chance of rain. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so we shall see. See shall we. We shall see. This trail is very close to the edge here. Here where we can see the boat dock. All right, so this is where we're gonna look for our camping spot. Right around here. We might go around the edge a little bit further. Here comes another vehicle driving in. So there's my truck. Uh, parking lot over there. I'm looking for a spot that's kind of nestled in the trees, but no dead ones above me or around me. I don't want trees falling over me. <clears throat> and I like a little bit of an incline because I like to sleep inclined a little bit. Helps with the uh, hip sinuses, you know.
bunch of undergrowth in there for the tent. It's like a pretty decent spot up in there. <clears throat> we'll see. Let's hack around a little more. We're gonna do a fire tonight, so there's the fire pit already built. The soil looks pretty soft right here. A little bit of an incline, but the way the wind is blowing, the fire would blow onto my tent, so I need to have the tent upwind from the fire or I could set the tent over here in that little spot and then have my campfire there that might be good that might work so maybe right here uh, let's see take a look up oh see there's a limb right there see that limb completely detached from the tree is hanging by the little vines. Don't want to camp under that. So don't want to camp here in that spot. This spot don't look too bad. Looks like these trees are pretty healthy. They're all leafing out. We got some uh, big dead branch right there. All right, we'll look around some more. I might just put my tent <clears throat> kind of in front over here. I might put it between these trees. Have a campfire behind me. Maybe I might make my own campfire. That looks like a little road over here. Take a look, take a look, take a look, take a look. So I didn't bring any firewood, obviously. I backpacked in. I figured there was plenty of wood out here. So I brought the old hatchet. Ooh, look at all these ants. All these ant beds. Vehicle way over there. Catfish, there's a one, four vehicles here now. There's a camping in a scorched forest over there across the way there. that fire pit that means the fire embers and stuff can fly up and hit my tent I don't want to do that I didn't want to do that kind of looks like a game trail there I don't know if that's a could be a game trail I wouldn't mind camping over there but the, the dead branches Set up. Teton Sports. 
Mountain Adventure 4000. <clears throat> Pretty small pack. It's packed full. I think I decided on Okay, so we got the tent set up. The tent we're using tonight is Eureka Suma 2. It is brand new from their backpacking line. So, <clears throat> basically, this thing weighs everything stakes, poles, all that. About 3.4 pounds. So pretty lightweight. <clears throat> so one door, one vestibule. That's how they're able to keep the weight down. A lot of mesh in the body of the tent. <clears throat> Basically has a bathtub style floor. And the rest is mesh. I think there's a couple of spots where there is a solid breathable panel. green right here okay so there's not much just right there there and over here okay it's a little wider at the head end which is over here but I wanted my door to face the lake and my truck and I like the incline so I'm gonna have my head at the foot end tonight a little bass awkward that way We're getting a lot of visitors out here. They'll, most likely all they'll be gone. Except for the ones camping over there. They might be here overnight. So, it does have color-coded uh, webbing and clips for the rain fly. Which is pretty easy to coordinate anyway. You just got one door. You do have a roof vent. A little portion bar. Yeah, let's see. Hard is one hand here. <clears throat> Sticks up pretty good. All right. Some of you may not like the color. Some people don't like loud colors. It doesn't really bother me. Uh, I do have multiple tents. I have some that are brightly colored and I have some that are uh, earthy tones. Uh, Eureka, they do both. They have a lot of brightly colored ones. So there's not enough tent stakes. Pegs that come with this. We had four, we had seven all together. So uh, the wind is coming from behind me and going to the tent here, so that's why I guide this side out. I would have guided the other side out, but no more tent pegs. And this is the first time I opened this tent was today. Not even at home or anything. I just threw it in the backpack and took a first look at it out here. So we will take a first look. We may do that uh, <clears throat> tonight. We may do it when we get home. But uh, it's going to see some action tonight. All right, so two more guy out points on this side. And has little reflective dashes there. So the stitching is reflective. The uh, logo there is reflective. <clears throat> So this is a two-person tent. <clears throat> it's a very small two-person tent. I'll never have two people in it. Uh, that is, if 
on the one of the ones that's in there. <clears throat> so we have another guy out point here. You can increase ventilation like that. But it is supposed to be a little windy. So I am not going to increase my ventilation. Here's another one here. Same thing, I just got a little flip there. <clears throat> so there was a shorter guy line that's for this one here. Remember, this is the head end, but I'm using it as the foot end. So, it comes with five guy lines, four long ones, and then this short one here, it's about 18 inches long. It goes to this one here, so you can kind of pull it out, you know. And like I said, we're just going to leave it open. Here. <clears throat> so not a whole lot of pockets there's one little bitty pocket over there at the head end which I'm going to use as the foot end so the head end is a little wider than the uh, foot end uh, I did not purchase anything extra for this tent I just got the tent off of Amazon <clears throat> uh, for 134 I think currently they're at 137 uh, Eureka just released these tents, uh, <clears throat> I believe back in January. They released several uh, new tents that they designed <clears throat> for backpacking. One of them is a four-season tent. So it has, uh, all the windows are zippable closed. So <clears throat> I do have my eye on that one. I like to do a lot of winter camping. And I've been looking for a good four-season two-person lightweight tent i do have two four season tents but one of them is a three person and it's about 10 pounds and the other one's a two person and it's probably eight to nine pounds so and i think their four season one two person is uh around four or five pounds which is good and this one here is right about 3.3 3.4 so then we have another little pocket here it's a, where you kind of stuff your door, you know, you can just stuff it in there out of the way if you want to. So a pretty good size vestibule over right here. So I wear size 12. And you can see it goes out a little further. Definitely enough room for my pack, but I'm gonna leave my pack inside. I don't want any creepy crawlies to get in there. So if I was in a solo tent, I would definitely have to keep this outside so that's another good option for a two-man tent is to uh, keep everything indoors with you right, let's close this up <clears throat> okay <clears throat> so I brought the hatchet we're gonna process some firewood I did bring my little camper chair we have a uh, fire pit already rigged up <clears throat> logs over here already so they just need to be chopped up so we get the hatchet chop up some wood gather up some uh, some of these little twigs and maybe some of that dry grass over there for uh, to get the fire started
the fire is basically just because we want one for later when it gets dark <clears throat> chill outside for a bit so we're just getting things ready got to find a little bit more and then go get some of the dry grass I got some of this taller dry weeds here and then we're just gonna break it up that's yeah, pretty dry this should spark pretty good Most of this wood is going to burn up really fast. These little denser ones, thicker and denser, they'll burn a little longer. I'm thinking with the wood we have here, maybe 35, 40 minutes where the burn time we'll have, which is good. That's all I'm looking for. Chicken fried rice, vegetables. died down a little bit so that's good this is gonna fall at some point especially this big one 